afternoon, folks. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, and give me them sweet old thumbs up. If you got a question for me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I'll be happy to answer your automotive-related questions as long as you're a subscriber to the channel for absolutely free if I can, and send me them nice comments. And remember, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too, that I promise you. So we're gonna check the transmission fluid in this 2009 to 2017 Chevy Equinox. This is also gonna be the same as your GMC Terrain. Yes, people, they have the same transmissions in them. And as long as you have the four cylinder model of this, this information will be extremely useful. You're gonna need either a 716 socket or an 11 millimeter, possibly an extension, if you remove your tire like I did, which is may not be necessary, but it may be helpful. So we're gonna remove the tire, make sure the vehicle is on level ground. We're gonna start the vehicle up, let it get up to operating temperature. Then we're gonna pull out the drain plug and we're gonna start filling it. Your drain plug is located right in there. And we're gonna go ahead and remove that. With that vehicle running, we're gonna go ahead and take out this old drain plug right here, or filler plug, whatever you wanna call it, overflow plug, whatever the situation. Now, if you're like me and you overfilled yours, some should run out, so we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna remove the cap and fill it. Right down underneath there, Right straight in the middle of this mess and light, we've got our fill plug. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out. And we just stick this down. And we're gonna fill it up until it starts to come out the side. Now Dakota's gonna start filling that thing up and then we're gonna watch down here until we have fluid coming out. When it's barely dripping, we're gonna put the drain plug back in and tighten that back up with our socket and we're good to go. Now going back up top, we're gonna remove our funnel and put our plug back in. Hopefully that video was helpful for you guys. Remember, don't be the next to them, be the first to you and if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. God bless, have the best of days. Thank you so much for viewing. 